doing guys? Uh, Randy Richard here in the shop. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, about making uh, some parts, uh, not parts, um, some tools uh, for Keith Fenner's What's in Your Box. Uh, this is a collaboration effort put, by, put together by Brad Jacobs. Uh, he's the basement shop guy on YouTube. I'll put his link up. And um, I'm a I don't know, kind of working on the punches. So I've made a drawings for them and stuff. I'm working fin finalizing those. But what I'm doing is I'm making some uh, test punches. Uh, we're thinking, I'm you know, kind of thinking of using W1 drill rod, but we're worried about warpage because uh, I guess W1's a little more warpier when you heat treat it than like O1. So, what we're doing, this is a blank, because I have several pieces of this I can donate to the cause here. It's going to be a group effort making these things, and uh, there's other tools that are going to be made also by other YouTubers and uh, other, uh, other people who want to join, join in. Uh, if you visit uh, Basement Shop Guys, um, you know, YouTube channel, of course, uh, he also created a uh, Facebook page for this. And on machining YouTube, you can also get a hold of him or me or uh, and stuff uh, and find out about this. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm making some test punches, and then we're going to send them over to. Uh, as soon as I get, I'm going to make one more. Uh, I'm going to send them over to uh, Stan Zinkowski. He's a uh, uh, Barzy Industrial. He has a YouTube channel. I'll put his link up also. And he's going to heat treat these. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. How the warpage goes. That's why I made a thin one here. And see if this is going to be a suitable material or we're going to have to change materials. After he treats them, he's going to you know, harden them and temper them. And then we're going to, then he's going to send them up to another fella. Uh, he's not doing YouTube stuff yet, but he plans on it. Uh, Ray Goff up in Petaluma and Ray's gonna go test him a little bit and then uh, Ray's gonna go over to Tom Lipton's shop. Uh, uh, Tom Lipton has a YouTube channel, he's Ox Tools, so uh, I'll put his link up. <laughs> anyway, they're gonna go over there with Tom's and Tom and him are gonna really test him. And I told him, you know, test him, break him, whatever, really test him, test him tough. See if they're too, br maybe they're too brittle, Maybe they're uh, too soft, uh, you know, whatever it takes. Uh, that's what we're going to do. And then uh, send them, I want them to send them back to me. And uh, we'll adjust maybe the drawings, I'll adjust maybe the materials. And then we'll put it out there so uh, other folks can make some of these punches and sign up uh, to do that. To, so we can make a consistent product and everything. We, it's, I said it's going to be uh, four. Uh, types of punches uh, I've drawn up, uh, a long pin punch, uh, starting pin punches, center punches, and roll pin punches. So today I'm going to make a roll pin punch. So if you've gone on um, Machining YouTube Facebook page, you've already probably seen a picture. Uh, this is a center punch, and uh, I've already milled the flat. I didn't show the picture, but uh, I just milled the flats on the sides we're going to put. And we're going to have these little uh, grooves as a little signature marks on there. And uh, it would be nice if we can get somebody to engrave them. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, so that's a, that's a center punch. This is a small uh, roll pin punch. Uh, basically, a three, it's going to be a 332nd punch. Uh, it has this end on here because this is the center. Uh, uh, after Stan hardens it, he might try to grind this uh, to final dimensions. It's a little big right now. It's a hundred thousandth right now, and it really should be uh, eighty-five thousandths. So I left it on there in case he wants to leave it on there. He might want to cut it off. Up to him. That's what it looks like it does. But it has a flat on it. So these uh these came out pretty good. And uh, we'll uh make a roll pin punch. Uh, uh, I'm going to videotape the roll pin punch. So uh, 
we'll, that, that you'll see that here and uh, we'll basically it's the same process for all the punches I did and uh, I bozoed one on the very first one um, refining my process <laughs> so uh, that's what happens uh, so um, here I'll show you that so here's the bozo a little wanked over on me yeah and then uh, got bent <laughs> so uh, I changed my uh, process on doing this and uh, uh, you, you'll see the, the new process of course uh, and uh, it works uh, works real good. I was able to turn that uh, small uh, pin punch down uh, really uh, without without a problem. Uh, that's like I said, that's a hundred thousands there. So uh, I could have easily went smaller. So uh, uh, you'll see all that. So uh, let's get to it. And remember to visit those guys' pages. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in participating, uh, we're gonna. I'm. I don't remember. I haven't really looked at the list of projects. Uh, I started on this kind of early with Brad here. So uh, as far as getting a drawing going, and and I want to make sure the materials. I want to make sure te heat tempering and all that's right. So uh, we don't have a bad tool that will chip or something. We want to. We want a good tool. So uh, we're gonna go through all this process. Uh, we have until December, so hopefully in the next uh, month or so, within within the next month, I should say, in a 30 days time or so, we should have uh, the, I'll have the finished drawings with material specification and everything on there. So uh, it'll be up uh, we'll, when we're posting now the drawings and stuff is on the Facebook page that Brad put up for this. Um, it's what's in your toolbox. Uh, I can't remember the whole name for it but anyway visit machine YouTube uh, make a comment on there or uh, things like that anyway or send me an email or send me a comment on my videos so uh, I'll direct you in the right direction uh, anyway uh, thanks a lot let's uh let's get going with machine work okay so we're gonna Check up the piece here, face it. I'm gonna go through all the steps on this uh, for this video, just so you know, just in case there's, as soon as I turn the lathe on. Yeah, remember to push the button. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go through all the steps um, on this and show them all. Just, uh, in case there's uh, somebody who wants to make some and uh, really wants to know. Turning this at uh, 715 RPM. This piece is five and a quarter inches long, and I have a bunch of these. These are drops. So I'm barely, uh, I'm only grabbing it by a half an inch or so in there. But we're not doing a lot of turning. So it um, seems to work out okay. 
and uh, but that that little bit there is going to get cut off so I, I I do have it uh, tight the tip on this end is going to get cut off we're going to we're going to make it out of that middle part there I think I'm going to make the quarter inch roll pin punch pretty common roll pin so that's right in the middle there uh, I think we'll just make one for a quarter inch roll pin so the, this is a half inch uh, W1 drill rod. We're going to turn it down to the neural diameter first, uh, 386. And we only need to knurl it in a certain area. We're going to, you know, because we're going to, we're going to, the end of it's going to be there, about so three quarters of an inch or so here. That's where the, the striking end will be. Then this is uh, like 1.85 or so, so a little more than three quarters. So that's this is the neural area, and then there'll be a little taper, and then there'll be a, a pin length, and then the, there's going to be a nub on the end. So really, we we only need to knurl it right in this area. Well, we're, first off, though, we'll turn the whole thing down to the neural dynam diameter of 386. Gonna rough it down here and uh, first. That's a uh, 40,000 depth of cut, uh, 80,000 is coming off of that. Oh man, it's a perfect finish. Okay, I changed over to uh, more of a finishing cut tool. I only need uh, 27 thousandths of a decimal cup, about 54 thousandths have to come off. I love this tool for finishing, it makes, on this stuff it comes out really nice. It's not shiny, but it's really nice. The PS just came with a box. I don't know what's in it.
cut. This is a uh, eight and a half thousandths uh, depth of cut. This is my new uh, John Mill style uh, indicator back. I made a new back. It's 50,000 thick. Uh, you only see about 20 of it. I have a, a recessed collar on the inside there, shoulder. And I screwed this on from the back out of a hard drive. Big hard drive. Had four discs in it. And uh, this is a super strong magnet. Uh, works really well. Okay, let's see here. Right now, see how it is there. Oh, 387. We were shooting for 386. 387's fine. It's uh, within the range uh, for the neural. So we'll mark it off and uh, we'll neural it. By the way, I hate knurling. So, <laughs> a little oil in there. Let's see what happens. But these are sharp knurls, so they seem to cut pretty easily. I put two marks on there. We'll just do it back and forth. They're probably three times or so, maybe. See how they come out. Try to see how the way it is. need to see.
I don't like taking it off. And, you know, as far as the alignment goes, especially when you're doing something in the middle like this. I like leaving it on there just reversing the leg. That way they stay engaged. Don't use a brush when you're doing this. That brush will get sucked in there and lickety split. Use a squirt can. Yeah, I've been trying different neurals. Uh, each one is a little different, uh, each of the three punches I'm doing. So just uh, see which one comes out the best kind of thing. I'm just going to run back and call it good, I think. And now it's all full of paper towel, but uh, not too bad. We'll uh, get her cleaned up. I'm doing that first because I'm doing the knurling, you know, turning, and then the knurling uh, because we're going to turn this down. The rest of this will turn down, get down, turn down smaller, and so will this. And so it, that's why it's just uh, the area needs to be knurled. Um, and you have the maximum strength of, that you're going to have is right now uh, because you're putting a lot of pressure on with that kind of nerve tool you put a lot of pressure I don't one of those pincher one pinching type would be uh, a lot better and uh, I don't know I might just make me one of those um, I'm not I haven't decided yet but anyway so uh, now we'll get to we're gonna come down here and we're gonna we'll do some turn in here and getting her down and turn in here 